Hi, I'm Joe Hannibal, and I'm curator of invertebrate paleontology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. We're here today at Wade Lagoon, a remnant of an old mill pond, really, in University Circle in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're here because we've just published a new study on millstones. Uh, the millstones we looked at were found in many areas in Ohio. Uh, we studied perhaps 60 different sites, several hundred millstones, but in our study we focused on about 15 particular sites that had very indicative uh, material. The millstones we studied were made of chert. Chert is a, a type of silica-rich rock that in Ohio is sometimes known as flint. The main purpose of our study was to try to discern which millstones made of chert were made of local Ohio chert and which ones were made out of chert that was imported from France. As our study unfolded, we found out that the original people who took chert and fashioned it into uh, pieces with uh, straight or curved edges, those folks took the chips like this and incorporated them into plaster tops on some kinds of millstones. Well, about a hundred years later, these plaster tops started to deteriorate and these pieces more or less popped out. With the permission of the owners of various mills and mill sites, we obtained a number of these rather raggedy little samples. In these pieces, we were able to find an algae that occurs in the rocks of the Paris Basin. The methods we used included uh, looking at the rock with very high-tech microscopes. Uh, it, they also included breaking off or cutting off little pieces and putting those in an electron microscope to get an extraordinarily close-up view. And also, uh, we used a technique uh, of geological thin sections, which involves taking a rock and slicing and dicing it into very wafer-thin slices that are then examined under the microscope. By doing this, we were able to identify a very characteristic algae that occurs in the rocks of the Paris Basin. And that adequately distinguishes the rock imported from Paris from that made of Ohio stone. The fossils found in the French stone are quite different than the fossils found in the Ohio stone. And there are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, the Ohio stone is made of a chert that was marine in origin, that is formed in salt water and contains typical salt water or marine fossils. These include a little football shaped, sort of a mini football shaped fossil called the fusilinid, as well as a shelled organism called the brachiopod, and other types of fossils that are familiar to those who study Ohio Paleozoic rocks. The French stone, on the other hand, is made of a a rock that originated as a freshwater deposit. And the fossils found, the algae and the freshwater snails, are indicative of uh, very little influx of salt water. They're also a different geologic age and are quite younger geologically from the tertiary than are our Ohio fossils. And so the, for the first time, we've been able to distinguish these two types of rocks easily in Ohio using fossils. This research is part of a larger study in this region and actually all of North America. We're interested in knowing exactly what rocks were used as millstones, where they came from, and why they were used over a period of time, including the millstone behind me, which is a granite millstone made of a local glacial boulder.